Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortewada. In this video, we will learn what are input events and how to use them in our input fields. So in my previous video, we spoke about mouse events and keyboard events. Now we will target only on the input events. These are mainly used on the form fields. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created index.html and index.js and now inside this body, what I'll try to do is I'll write one input field. So let me use a input field with some placeholder as testing on change and let me write one event called as on change event. There is an event called as on change which is used on the input fields. So for example on change and let me call a callback function called as on change handler and let me copy this on change handler and go to JS. Let me write one function and this would be the callback function whenever there is an on change on that particular event and let me write console.log of on change event so let me save this and save this go here and let me reload you got testing on change so let me inspect this and go to the console let me zoom a bit and extract so whenever i'm typing something nothing is displayed that means on change is not yet triggered but whenever i come out of it that means after typing and changing some changes and coming out this is called on change event is triggered for example i'm clicking on this and coming out it didn't called why because there is no change happened for that string for example let me remove this s so there is a change happened in that event and in that input field and whenever I click outside the change event again triggered that means whenever there is a change happen on your input field and when you come out of it or when the field is becoming blur then this event is triggered so let me remove or type something and let me hit outside so again the on change event has been triggered so on change event will be triggered whenever there is a change happened in your input field and when you come out of it then this particular on change event will be triggered and what is this event and what are the details about event we can check that event by using event which is a keyword which is passed to this particular on change handler and let me receive this event and let me console it save this and save this go here let me reload if you see sai kumar and hit outside you got an event and if you see the type there is a change that is on change is the event name and if you hit here and you will be getting the target just go here and write event dot target dot value target dot value that will give you the value which is entered on your input change let me reload if you type something like sai kumar and hit outside you got on change event has been triggered and sai kumar you got that sai kumar value so now in the same way we have something called as on input event let me create one more input field and save this let me close this testing on input so let me use on input event and let me change this to on input handler so copy this go here let me use function on input handler and inside this let me use a event and let me write one console console.log of on input and event or you can use event.target.value save this and save this go here let me reload now whenever i'm typing something on this input change that means whenever there is an input given to that particular field immediately that particular event will be called for example s event called a i k u m a r and when you hit outside nothing will happen and when you change something immediately that event will be triggered so what is the difference between on change and on input is on input will trigger the event immediately whatever the change happened on that particular input field whereas on change will only trigger the event when there is a change in the particular element value as well as when you click outside of the particular element or input field so that is where your on change and on input will differ and vary let me go here there is one more event called as focus events and also there is something called as a blur event so let me write focus event and blur event and let me write some more handlers something like focus and also blur so let me save this 
and copy this on focus handler and let me create a function and this on input handler let me replace with focus handler and let me write focus and same thing copy this function and let me use some blur event and a blur event save this now whenever the user clicks on that focus uh, whenever the user focuses on that particular input field the focus method will be called and when the user clicks out of it once the focus is done and when the user clicks out so out of the element then that particular event is called as a blur event so how it works i'll tell you so now this indicates a focus and whenever you come out of it it becomes a blur so something like this and like this so let me change the name here on blur event handler so save this and this is something like a blur event and on blur event name this is on focus event name save this and reload if you see here whenever i click on this focus then immediately on focus has been triggered and again i'm coming out of it and trying to hit again same same so it is go on hitting that means once i click inside that particular input field the on focus event is triggered and when i click inside it and coming out of it that is called as a blur event so whenever i clicked here nothing happened but when i click outside of it then it is calling the blur event let me try again click here and come out this is called as on blur event so these are the different type of events which can be handled over your input fields and also these changes can also be these input fields can also accept mouse events keyboard events double click click everything but always need to check that on change and on input on focus on blur these are especially for the input fields and this particular events will be triggered only whenever you are using input form fields so hope you like my explanation let me give you one more clarification on this or revision on this particular four events on change whenever there is a change happen to it and when the user blurs out of that input field this on change will trigger it is something like an and condition it has to change the value and the user should click outside of the field once there is a change happen to that particular input field and also coming to on input on input is something like whenever there is a change in the input field automatically this on input handler will be called whether it is a same value whether we are uh, giving a backspace or giving any letter or a space any change to that particular input field immediately it will trigger on input handler whereas on focus is something whenever the mouse is clicked inside the particular input field then on mouse on focus handler will be called and when the user comes out of the input field then it will call the on blur event so on blur will not depend on a particular value it only depends on the event wherever we are clicking so on change is something like a on input and on blur so it is a combination of input change as well as a blur happen to that so then only on change will be triggered and in the upcoming video we will learn more about this particular events and deep diving into some events and what are the different problems we may face and how to handle that problems we'll see in the upcoming videos and also i want to let you know about techzet techzet is a platform on medium where you can learn all the back end stuff mainly it is focused on the adobe experience management magento as well as osgi along with the basics of java and you can see this link framework completely so just have a click on the link below in the description and have a look on this medium blog if you like please like share follow medium blog hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you